Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Wilbur text. And if you're wondering what Wilbur text is, it's this. I made this as a signature for GIMP Talk. And I'm going to show you how I did this. And in GIMP I'm going to open a new file and the default setting 640 by 480 or by 400, doesn't really matter, is fine. And click OK and now go to your text tool. And I'm using the font Jungle Fever and I'll leave a link in the description and the size is 145. And I'm just going to type in Wilbur. And that's fine. I'm going to move it up a bit. Like this. And close. And now um, I need a brush, a Wilbur brush. And for this, you need to go to the drive where you installed GIMP on. And for me, that's my D drive. For most people in Windows, it's the C drive. And then go to Program Files. And search for Kim 2.0. And I'm sorry for the clicks you hear. I don't know how to turn off my computer clicks. And uh, the software doesn't want to do it. But anyway, in Kim 2.0, click on Share. And click on Kim and 2.0. And then click on Images. And there are two images of Wilbur in here. And you want one called GIMP logo. That's the correct size. So right click on it and click edit with GIMP. And then it will open as a new image. And if you go to edit copy in this image, it will be your first brush in your brush list. So I've got it as my first brush here. But also if you go to your brushes, it will show as your first brush clipboard, it's called. And leave the scale at 1 and then just... Go to your uh, layer dialog and on the Wilbur text layer, lock the alpha channel by clicking on this, tick this. And now I'm going to brush Wilbur in. Like this. And it may not look pretty, but you can take some time to sort of have the best bit of Wilbur shown. And I think all the black bits are gone. And now I'm going to see where here that looks a bit more. And here and I think something like this looks nice. And this one needs a brush and a face of Wilbur. And this one needs a face of Wilbur. And this one needs some eyes. And I think this one too. And this just looks fine. Maybe you can take a little bit more time to make this perfect. Now on this Wilbur layer, go to script full, a layer effects, a bevel and emboss. And if you don't have bevel and emboss, then don't worry. I have a video tutorial on it and it will tell you everything you need to know. And I will leave uh, the video tutorial as a video response to this video. So you can just watch it and then you uh, can follow this tutorial. And in bevel and emboss, go to style in a bevel, a depth 3. And size 5, I believe those are defaults, but set sovereign to 2 and tick merge with layer and then click OK. And then it will bevel and emboss on the correct layer. And now we are done with our Wilbur text, but I will be showing you how to make the reflection, even though I already have a video on it, but it's easily done. So um, I'm gonna duplicate this Wilbur layer once by clicking on this duplicate icon. And then on my Wilbur copy, make sure this is uh, activated. I'm going to go to my flip tool and set it to vertical. And then just click once on your image. And there my Wilbur text is vertically flipped. This uh, layer here. And now I'm going to move this down by going to my move tool. Click on my image once and then move it down with the arrow key. So you've got it aligned up perfectly. And I think I'm almost there and this looks just good. And now I'm going to make the reflection by right clicking on the Wilbur copy layer. And click add layer mask. And tick black full transparency. And click add. And now make sure that your foreground and background colors are black and white. And you can do this by clicking on this icon here. Or press D on your keyboard. That does the same. And now go to your gradient tool. And make sure your gradient is set to foreground to background. And repeat, set to none and shape to linear. Everything rather default really. And then just press Ctrl on your keyboard. 
and drag up a bit and there you've got your reflection and if you want to use it on the form something like this then obviously crop it with your crop tool like this and make sure you've got enough of the reflection showing and then click in the middle or press enter and make the background invisible and then save as png file uh, you can crop it a little bit better I see but well you get the uh, idea so uh, that was a quick Wilward text tutorial and I hope you liked it and if you did then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos as well I've got a lot of tutorials and tips and game basic stuff and if you like it then maybe you'd like to subscribe and thank you for watching